My name is Sally Breckenridge, and I am the author of Weave It Pro for Windows and for Mac. And I am going to try and do more videos. I'm pretty new at this, so please be patient. Um, I have received many emails about the Mac product, the Mac, we Mac Weave It Pro, um, with difficulty using the right click for selecting the weft color in the program. And because there's been so many issues with doing that, I decided to change it and to try a new way to do that. And that's what I want to show you how to do in this video, how to do the right mouse button and also how to do it the new way and how to do it the old way and then how to switch between them. So this is uh, what I'm showing today. Choose the Apple Menu System Preferences. Pick Trackpad. You will see the secondary click choices. The diagram shows you how to do that. If I pick click on bottom right, it shows you that. My choice is click with two fingers. Then close the system preferences. When you click with the right mouse button, you will see the display menu. Notice that the in the video that the circle is green around the mouse when I click. That means I have clicked the right mouse button. If I click the left mouse button, then the circle is black. When Weave It starts, you will see this alert dialog telling you that the method for picking colors in the color palette has changed. The new default way to pick colors is going to be to always use the left mouse click. So it's important for you to read the color palette help and to see the details and set your preferences for what, how you want to do your selections. So at the start I pick the OK then I will see the new help file that explains how to pick colors in the color palette and it explains the two different ways. One is the new way and one is the old way. If I close this and I go over to Weave It Help, then when I scroll down to Colors and Yarn, the first item, Color Palette, Colors and Yarn, is this same dialog and you can get back to it to redo and relearn how to do it. Now I'm going to show you how thing, the new way, the new method for doing left and right clicks are. It emphasizes the left click. The left click is used for both the warp and the weft colors. I'm going to change the color. I'm going to change it to Thing. If I pick the switch colors, then I can pick a different color. So now I have two colors here, a left and a right color. I can switch them back and forth. The left color is the one that's going to be used to color both the warp and the weft. In mark mode, I click on the squares and it colors the color in the left color. If I pick weft mode and I pick the left button, it will color the squares in the left color. If I want to do it the other color, then I switch them and I can use the left button to color them in that color, either the warp or the weft. If I pick select and select the colors and use the color apply button, it will color the colors that way. That works the same in both the warp and the weft. So there's the weft. 
sometimes you will find that you want to do a color and weave effect for your draft and this would be the only time in this method that you might want to use the right mouse click so if I click on the color here let's do it in mark mode if I click on the warp color if I use the right mouse button I get the right color if I use the left mouse button I get the left left right left right left right it's a much faster way of coloring the warp without having to constantly go over and switch the colors this also works the same in the weft Le left right left right left oops left right left right I already did backwards there okay so that shows you that turn more here left and right so that shows you how the new wave works using the color palette now I'm going to show you the way that we previously did the warp and the weft color the warp color is on the left the weft color is on the right to pick a warp color you select the left button the color with the left button to pick a color for the weft, you select it with the right mouse button. And you will see the colors here. In mark mode, when you pick on the color, or on the weft, on the threading, you will always get the warp color. If you pick on the treadling, you will always get the weft color. Same with select. If you select, you will get and use the apply color, you will get the warp color. If you select and you use the apply color, you will get the weft color. The colors can be exchanged. So now the warp color is green and the weft color is yellow. Back to thing, green, warp. weft. This method now has, which it didn't have before, but now you can do a color and weave effect. You can use the right button to pick the normal color for the warp and weft, and you use the opposite button or the right button to pick the opposite color. So in the warp, if you pick on the square with the left mouse button you get the green because that's the warp color if you click with the right you get the yellow because that's the weft oops well okay that one left left right left right left right in this method if you click with the left button, you will get the weft color on the treadling. And then if you pick with the green with the right mouse button on the weft treadling, it's the opposite of the weft color, so it's the green. So this is left, right, left, right, right, left, right so picking the color and weave effect on the weft fit tie up or the weft treadling on the treadling you will get left color here and right color there on the threading you get left color here and right color here so you can do it whichever way seems the easiest for you. If you're comfortable with using the warp and the weft colors and you prefer to do that, then you can continue with the older method and change it in the preferences.
Now I'm going to show you how to change from using the left-right method in the color palette to using the warp web method in the color palette. So I pick Weave It Preferences. On the Preferences, I see the display is the first tab. I look down, I see Color Palette Selection Choice. The first one is always use the left mouse button. The second one is use the right mouse button. I'm going to use the right mouse button and that is what I previously have used in Weave It. Now you see it says Warp. Use click le uh, left click on the color for Warp. Right click on the color for Weft. I go over here in Mark Mode. I click on the colors of my Warp and I will get the warp color. If I pick on the colors of the weft, I will get the weft color. And now you're back to using the previous method with the extra features of being able to switch the colors and to use the right mouse button to choose the alternate color to when trying to do a color and weave. I hope this video has helped you understand better how the right mouse and button works and how to select colors in the palette in the Mac version of Weave It Pro. Choose the method that you like best, try them both, and just go with the way you like to do it. And um, let me know which way works for you and if there's any issues with that. Thank you.